all right all right all right welcome back everyone so as you can see we've been running for a few days we have both businesses up and running i just want to uh, check my warehouse we can see we're running out of cigars and wine so we need to order some we are also at the level where we're actually ordering every two three days now 1000 so i'm just going to make this a repeat order for every three days that's actually 8,500 to the warehouse. So let's just hit order. Next delivery is tomorrow at midnight, or actually, I'm not sure if it's today at midnight, day 37, or if it's the day after. Uh, the problem is we are really low on cigars in uh, the main warehouse. If we check our businesses, we can see the new business we started, Hell's Liquor, is uh, got some stock, got 300, and wine we got 500 on stock. Let's check uh, dry liquor inventory. Good stock count, so so we're good for now. Also, one thing I did while not recording was I took a second look at the logistic manager transport manager and made it so we made bigger deliveries so actually we have a minimum stock count on each store now and we can see we only have for one day of cigars for for this the dry clothes liquor which is fine we'll getting a new delivery tomorrow so we'll be able to restock there the same for uh, hell's liquor in hell's kitchen the same So, one thing I would like to do now is I want to expand on my warehouse as it is. We already have a second van, which is the one I'm using as my private vehicle. This we will uh, eventually park in the warehouse and be using as our second delivery truck. We also got a fair bit about money. But let's uh, focus on uh, the warehouse. So let's get one shelf for the store in Hills and uh, two more for the warehouse. Let's just check that out. Also, I have been uh, adding floor tiles to the first door up here and uh, putting up wallpaper which of course increased its uh, interior. So if we uh, pause, take a look, click on this one, you can see interior is now up to 100%. Customer service is really low, so that's one of the areas we need to improve on. And the way we can improve on this is with a uh, HR manager. No, 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 no. This hand truck pallet is. Yes. Good. We'll just go to the furniture store to uh, see if we can get some uh, decorations for our shops. And with this expansion, we are really ready to uh, start working on getting a HR manager. <coughs> and... Oh, it's opening now in five minutes. HR manager and then opening our third store. So we still have one office uh, location unused, which is uh, meant for our HR manager. So shop decorations, plants, people really love the plants. I'm 
just browsing here, right? Actually, uh, I'm also going to get a fridge for my s my apartment. Clocks, a few paintings. There we go, we got eight items. Another good reason why it's beneficial to have the van. Let's go and set that up. While we're setting that up, let's uh, get the job agent from City Workforce to see if we can get a HR manager for our HQ. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> and see, we did the floor and we did the walls. Looks like we have two different colors here. It's fine. Uh, head over to uh, Hell's Kitchen. So we did the walls here and uh, the, a part of the floor. Oh, yes, I did see his comment. That's absolutely right. We totally forgot about music in this place. <coughs> Another thing I would like to have in this place is a evening worker. So when we compare the stars, we can see there's a big difference in earnings and the main difference here is actually the shift pattern. So we have these two guys working between uh, well on the weekends we have open until 24 except for cleaning at late hour the other days only until maybe 8 
So we do really need another person to be able to um, keep our evening shift. Hell's Kitchen, customer service, just one guy. One person, yes. Want to keep an eye on the money. We don't want to exceed the current order we have <coughs> that's supposed to arrive either tonight or tomorrow because for that we need uh, at least 8,000 uh, on the account. There are three different sizes of speakers you can buy. I'm not sure it makes any difference at the moment. So I've <clears throat> at only been buying like, let's say, uh, the small ones. Uh, it seems to keep the customers happy. With the HR manager recruited, <clears throat> that means we can start on uh, training people which should give the customer satisfaction a boost in uh, both shops and the third we are planning to open. Oh, if you're wondering, the music uh, in the shops is actually what you can see here. You are able to control it. So if we turn this up, we can hear it in game. Oh, we need to bring our new fridge. Not in there, no, in here. <laughs> so we can place it in our apartment. <coughs> and that allows me to take the food and put it in the fridge. So whenever we want to eat, we can just go to the fridge and click this button. Really nice, let's get a boost here. Gameplay boost, skip time until tomorrow morning. And I'm really curious if we get delivery at midnight or if it's uh, one more day. Oh, it was now. That's good. Very nice. <coughs> that means we are basically ready to start working in a new area. See, we got a competitor here, Suits Management, opened a liquor store on 29th. There's no 29 here. It's fine. Right now we're the kings of Hell's Kitchen and the Garment District <laughs> in terms of uh, liquor. Uh, pause. Let's check the market insider. So if we want to expand, I think Murray Hill is the most reasonable one. And then Midtown finally. So Murray Hill, you can see. Wine, 
and cigars. Well, cigars is all the way down here. There's four businesses, so that might be a bad choice. Wine, also. Midtown. Cigar. We have one business and wine, one business. You can check the map. Scroll down to the bottom. You can look for a liquor stores, see how many there really is. Wine and cigars by James. By James. Looks like it's the same guy. Oh, here we go. That's the one, right? It's on sixth. That's a big one. So, when I run into a situation like this, if I want to expand, I'm considering. Uh, should we uh, add a new product? I love how uh, you get the reflection here. <laughs> so, with, without getting a new warehouse, a new purchase manager and everything, there is actually a very easy way to expand your business. So we already have a agreement with, uh, I think it's this importer, right? Third peer. So I will go into my business manager. Uh, no. That's not what I want to do. Go into my business manager. Okay. Business manager, HQ, purchase agent. Let's see what else we can sell. So we got flowers. So we could open a flower shop without having to expand the operation crazy. Jewelry or gifts. Let's uh, jump to the market insider, Murray Hill. Gifts, there are no businesses for cheap or expensive gifts. What about Midtown? They have one business. The only business they don't have is cheap jewelry. But I have not had very much uh, fun doing uh, jewelry. So I think we will go for Murray Hill and look for a place to open a gift shop. So we, we, we can just add here, but to end or add this, we have to cancel the current order. Next arrival is on day 41. That's actually fine. That gives us time to find a place to open a store, get everything set up and actually uh, hire some employees and then the goods will arrive. We already have the van to drive there. So let's put the map on for Murray Hill see if there is a retail available for hire and I would like to have a medium store on one of the avenues so I can see there's one right here there's a 48 traffic rate that's very good there's one right here that's small that's 75 square meters if we compare to the ones we have that's 225 and the one in health is also 225 so it's uh, let's uh, disable that and let's see uh, competitors they're way over there so 75 225 okay I think we'll go and check this one out because it's really important about the, the entrance which street is the entrance on the street or on the, uh, the avenue? We'll go and scout out the location. It's right here. So it looks like the entrance is right here. Yes, so it's a corner shop. It's a very nice corner shop. Preview. It's very similar to one of those we already have. Same size-ish. 
Traffic in the X48, customer capacity 30. We like that. Those two numbers are very really good. Price, it's a lot more expensive because I think we're only paying uh, 78 for the one similar. Uh, where does it say? Where does it say? It doesn't say. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, rent this building. Start a new business. Gift shop. This is uh, Murray, right? The district. Murray Hill. Hills. Gifts. Settings. Let's see if we can. Ah, I have to lean into my screen to actually see what's going on here. So a gift like that, red logo, black text, white background, similar to all the other ones we have. Almost similar writing as well. Good. Hit pause. Hit F1, and now we want to look into a gift. Oh, it's already selected. That's nice. So we need shopping basket, cars, ca <laughs> cars. <laughs> Cash register and checkout counter. Types of items we can sell. Sodas, cheap gift and expensive gifts. Cheap gifts we get from the same importer as we're already doing, which is nice. Same for expensive gifts. Soda cans, on the other hand, we have to get from somewhere else. So that's not something we're going to focus on. However, we need to uh, notice the items need to be displayed on a rounded shelf. Uh, and that's both. We can also use a product panel, whatever that is. We'll go and check that out now. We can get those at AJ's, just like almost everything else. Pause. CD workforce. That's our HR manager. Multi-purpose chair. Yes, we can get a chair for him. Do we have another message? No. Where did AJ go? Oh, it's just one more down. Here we go. So we want the uh, shopping baskets, we want the counter. And product panel, that was what it said, right? Let's try it. Let's get two of these. They are reasonable priced, I think. Can we carry more? <laughs> Need some shelves, one, two. Let's go and get that special chair for Brian. So he wants this multi-purpose chair, uh, but we have one that's already in use, so I need another one. Let's, let's just finish our shopping for the new store and then we'll go and buy his chair. So here we have the rounded display we wanted, 
add the cash register over here. Finally, we need the cleaning tools. And we are good to go. The cleaning station, it's called. While we're here, we might as well look at uh, the, what do we need from here. We need one thing from in here. We need a radio or music player of some sort. So we'll buy the small speaker while we're here. We need it in the store. That's the speaker. Is it this one? Yes. There we go. <coughs> then we can get our HR man just set up. And we can get our workers trained for a better customer experience and we were recruiting one for the night shift full-time high customer service yes higher candidate let's just assign that person uh, to Hell's Lakers schedule while we are here um Caleb Caleb there you go evening shift for you let's just make sure he has a uniform as well it's Wednesday. When you have this dis disabled, you need to do it every single day. So he's off on Thursday, it's Friday, uh, Saturday, Monday. Tuesday. I think we need to adjust our opening hours. So I will just move the cleaning back to before lunch move everything down and increase his hours, reduce Matilda's hours just a bit. Start Monday, 12, go. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you can see we definitely don't have enough hours for him because he wants minimum 30. Frank feels he has too many hours, so let's remove him there and put this guy in. So he's up to 20. Frank again. So now Frank is at 18 hours. So I think he's more happy with because he he don't want to work too many hours between 10 and 30 per week and we still need to add more hours to Caleb which is a good thing for me really because that means I can expand my business hour or I can just replace him with one of the part-time workers and increase their cleaning schedule which is really ideal for me so we can start cleaning twice then at closing time as well, Saturday. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, part time. Ah, he needs more hours. That's correct. Don't worry. We'll get more cleaning shifts.
let's head back to the main office because we need to set up the HR manager as soon as possible. <clears throat> I noticed the HR managers, they can manage, uh, so far the highest I've seen is uh, 15 people. But when you hire them, it's uh, 10. But then you get two HR managers and they can train each other up to 15. Where's his chair? Multipurpose chair. So let's take this one and place that down here as well. There we go, and you can assign Brian. All week, yes. Now we can click him here and we can automatically train all employees up to 80%. No training is slower and cheaper and employees will keep working on their tasks. This is very nice. This check mark really means if an employee is missing, he will take his place. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it works. And we just assigned all workers to him because he needs to deal with them all. We get an overview of average salary of $28 per hour, average satisfaction very high, average skill level very low. And of course that's what we need to focus on bringing up. Also this satisfaction from Caleb, that's himself. No, that's another guy. Let's see my employees. That's the new guy we hired. So of course he's, he's just starting. Oh, he's even in a suit. It's very serious business. Get back to our new corner store, the gift shop. <clears throat> Get everything set up. So once we are ready to order goods, everything will just be amazing. Uh, hand truck. Let's start with storage shelf, product panel. Rounded shelf. Oh, we're full. Product panel, place. Storage shelf, place. Now we want the cabinet with drawers, the cash register, the cleaning station, a stack of shopping baskets. So we'll place our salesperson here, cash register, it's up. Shopping baskets at the door, cleaning station in the back. Loudspeaker, rounded shelf. There we go. Rounded shelf down here. Music next to stuff. There we go. Good. That part is ready. Now we can take a nap and see how the HR manager is doing tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have a, ah, that's on day 41. That means we need to buy even more cigars. You can see there's still two days left and we're running out. Let's see tomorrow if the delivery guy is able to, to bring enough over. 
otherwise we might need to increase his amount he's bringing back and forth. So now we can eat, click, entertain, sleep until, yeah, it's fine. Good profit. We're up to 8,000. Now everything should be a lot better. These complaints, the red ones is the new gift shops. Don't worry about that. But the cigars I'm worried about. So let's look at the warehouse. We have plenty in the warehouse. So I'm wondering why they're not being delivered. Yes, we're not earning any money because we don't have any items. and We're not selling anything yet. We also don't have any employees there yet. That's something that's very easy to fix. We can we can start the shop up manually. But uh, let's do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. Girls, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Have any ideas. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.